This is 28-year-old Mindy. Mascara makes all the difference. She fell in love with 58-year-old Larry. I've already done my makeup, so I... <laughs> Larry and I complete each other. We just are perfect for each other. They receive judgment for being in an age gap relationship. I'm a pedophile. She's a gold digger. That's the two biggest things that we've experienced. But that never got in the way of their love. We're here. Now they're in New York, hoping to use their experience to help a new age gap relationship tackle their own issues. How do you feel about that? Like, does it upset you that they're, like, disappointed or... Um... Larry and I have decided to come to New York today because we want to sightsee. I've never been here before, so I'm really excited to see the city. I've already done my makeup, so I... <laughs> And then we actually decided that we want to meet up with another age gap couple. And I think that it'll be really fun to see and meet somebody else that's in our situation. The couple that we're actually meeting today met online on a sugar daddy or sugar baby website, which I found to be very interesting because people have accused me of being a gold digger when really we were two people that fell in love and met and it just happened. Whereas this couple is a little bit different. I think the first time I was here in New York City was 2003, 2002, somewhere in that area. That was cute. I was like seven and eight years old. I think I was eight. Mm. <laughs> I was in primary school. Look at that rain out there. It's going to be a beautiful day to sightsee. Cold and damp. Larry and Mindy have been together for eight years. Their relationship is now part of Mindy's successful YouTube channel. We're going to film an intro for our video. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Hi. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to a new video. Okay, ready? Is it away? I'm like, wait, wait. You know when you try to get the... Those good angles. I think we're relatable. We're not trying to be extra. I know that's a funny word to use, but... We're just two normal people, and that's pretty much what we represent. Having made a name for themselves due to being in a 30-year age gap relationship, it's time for them to impart their wisdom on others. Because of her YouTube channel, we've received so much feedback, negative and positive. Typically, an age gap couple is going to get the stereotypical comments, like obviously, gold digger. Um, I'm a pedophile. She's a gold digger. Um, that's the two biggest things. With a wealth of experience dealing with negativity from others about their own relationship, Larry and Mindy are heading out to meet Gabby, who's newly entered into her own age gap relationship. How do I look? You look amazing. Do I? You always do. Thanks. You're welcome. Can I help you? Yeah, there's... So we're in Times Square, it is so beautiful. We're so excited to see everything. We have a little bit of time before we meet Gabby. The weather is absolutely terrible here in the moment in New York. We are ready to hop into that yellow cab. Being in New York City for the first time, it is gorgeous, massive, it never stops. Gabby has brought her best friend Julie along to meet Mindy and Larry. My relationship with Chris we actually met on Seeking Arrangement, which is a sugar baby, sugar daddy website, and we fell in love. And now we live together, and um, obviously there's a lot of hardships when it comes to that, so I'm just here to you know, find out what we can do better. We're here. Larry and Mindy have like, you know, been in a relationship for a lot longer. I think they've been through a lot more stuff. We did it. Hi, Gabby, I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Hi, Gabby. I'm Julia, I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm very intrigued to know about your relationship. So tell me what kind of relationship you're in or you know, tell me about your significant other. He's 51 and I'm 20. Um, and you know, it's kind of hard sometimes. It's like you feel like you're the only one. You're definitely yeah. not alone because that's exactly how I felt because I was 20 when he was 50. So we're almost like the exact Whoa. same age apart. Do you get comments out in public when you're with your partner or no? I wouldn't say comments, I would say more the stares. The stares. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they definitely don't think we're related because I'm Hispanic mm. and he's white. So okay. I don't think people think we're related, but they definitely do stare at us a lot. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. Yeah, I'm the happiest with him. How long have you guys been together now? Um, for about like a year, a little okay. over a year. So it's still pretty new then. Yeah. And hopefully, like as time goes, we've realized, like at first my parents, when they found out I was dating Larry, my mom thought it was a complete phase. She was like, Mindy's just young, she's doing her thing, it's, this is a phase. But now that they see you're happy, are they better? 
Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Um, they're just kind of like, I'm disappointed, I would say. Aww. How do you feel about that? Like, does it upset you that they're like disappointed or not happy? I mean, it did in the beginning. I actually spoke to my parents today after like many weeks of not speaking to them because of the situation. And I feel like they're kind of coming around starting to. It just kind of melts away as time goes on and people start to accept it. I think just giving people time to come around is quite beneficial. And I think that they will. And I really hope they will for you guys too. I think she's kind of, if she's happy, it's all that matters. You sound like my best friend. Yeah. 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 You get along well with Chris? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. Could you see yourself maybe marrying him someday or do you just like to date? I think we have a good chances of being married one day. Like we do talk about it, turning a family together. and just realizing how cool they are. They're down to earth and I definitely love their advice. Meeting Gabby for the first time was amazing. I thought she was such a sweet soul, so kind. And it was nice to know that, that there's a relationship developing and there yeah. could be um, wedding down the line. I'm glad that it turned into real love. That melts my heart, that makes me happy. And I hope her family comes around. My advice to Gabby was just to give yourself time, to have faith in the fact that you guys have love for each other and follow that. Roll with it. Don't judge. Get to know. Get to know. Yeah. It's really nice to hear your story. And we wish you both so much luck. Best of luck. Group hug. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> the one thing that I would tell people that do judge an age gap relationship is try not to judge. I know it's hard not to, but try to get to know the person. Larry and I didn't know this was gonna happen to us. It just happened. And I would never want to judge or make somebody feel the way that people have made us feel. We've had such an amazing time in New York City. We enjoyed meeting Gabby. We loved her and we wish her the best. And we're ready to pack up and go home and can't wait for the next journey. Yes, I would love to stay, but it's too cold. <laughs> Bye, New York City. Thanks for